Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today it's the first video of 2018 and that is Luton Town versus Lincoln match day vlog. Now on Boxing Day we won 5-0 against Swindon but a few days later we lost 4-0 away to Port Vale. Now the Swindon game obviously was a fantastic result. No one expected us to win 5-0 at Swindon who most likely will be in the playoffs this season. And then Port Vale just, I think they gave us a wake up call. I think they gave us a, like a wake-up call that we ain't going to walk this league. And which is fair enough, we ain't going to walk the league. I know we're doing really well recently. And I think the defending for the game against Port Vale was, was absolutely terrible. I watched the highlights. The goals were awful to concede. Now, Nathan Jones made four changes for that game, which he had, he had the right to do so, in my view. No players can play... A load of games, a load of training sessions within a short amount of time. And so he had to make changes. Four changes was justified, in my view. And the players didn't play up to it. And there you go. So now, in future references, when Nathan Jones needs to make changes, these players, who he's just put into the team, won't get the opportunity, which is fair enough. Now, we are playing against Lincoln today. The team which I am think I'm, he will go for will be the exact same team which played against Swindon away from home so yeah it most probably will make another four changes which is fine because big games cup happening in a short amount of time we've got Newcastle this Saturday which I'm going to over 7,000 Luton fans are going to that game it's going to be absolutely amazing and yeah hopefully we can win today start the new year right and get the three points
So guys, I'm now back home from the game against Lincoln. Now, Alan Sheehan is a complete idiot for punching that Reed striker who plays for Lincoln. He should have been sent off as well. I felt Reed. He elbowed Luke Berry, um, made a number number of fouls during the game, and the only booking he got was for winding up the fans. He was a complete idiot, cheat as well. Reed is a complete cheat. Like he, Sheehan did hit him. But he also hit Sheehan, he kept winding him up, which is fair enough. But Sheehan, for the first minute, looked like he was going to get sent off. He kept getting wound up throughout that first three minutes, so the sending off was coming. Steck should have done better with that free kick. It was a really easy save to make, and he didn't make that save, so a little bit disappointing. Danny Hilton done amazing to set up Collins for the first goal for us. Absolutely fantastic. The second goal, we fell asleep yet again. Steck should have saved it, but apparently it was offside as well. But Steck should have saved it. It was an it was pretty. Much, he had two hands on it. He should have saved it. And then they went down to ten men. They went down to ten men, and we just controlled the game and got the win. The second half performance was a lot better. Barry and Justin's performances were outstanding. We are going into the Newcastle game on a win, so that's pretty much good as well. Newcastle did win today against Stoke, so they may be up for it. I don't know if they're going to be playing their first team or second team, but who knows. Over 7,000 Luton fans will be going to that game. I'm going to that game. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also going to Chesterfield as well. Got a few away games coming up, which is fantastic. So yeah, good win today. Happy with the performance. Big three points. If you did enjoy the video, guys, don't forget to drop a like. Comment down below your thoughts about today's game. Subscribe if you are new. I've also got a second channel where I upload like vlogs and stuff of my personal life. So if you want to subscribe over there, that would be much appreciated. Link will always will be in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.